Hello everyone, my name is Ferdinand and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like my content, please do consider subscribing. Leave a like on the video, I would really appreciate that. Also, leave any feedback or suggestions that you may have in the comment section below. And before I start today's video, I just want to give a huge shout out to two new subscribers to my channel. Thank you so much for that guys, you don't know how much that means to me. Shout out to Mansoor Narsis for subscribing. Thank you so much. Guys, subscribe to his amazing channel. I will leave a link in the description below. And the second subscriber, I think your profile uh, was private because it didn't show me, you know, what channel or what's the name of your channel um, or your account. But please do leave a comment in the comment section below as well so I can get a chance to say thank you to you too. And with that, let's jump into today's video. So the topic for today's discussion that I wanted to, you know, kind of give my thoughts on was Xbox's acquisition of Bethesda and Zenimax Media. So me personally guys, I'm not that big into console wars or anything. But anyone who knows about gaming or you know follows gaming news or the development studios and stuff knows that this is a pretty big deal. Basically. Uh, I mean Bethesda and Zenimax Studios are one of the biggest game producers that we have. If you are a fan of series like uh, the Fallout games, uh, the newly revamped and awesome Doom by id Software, Wolfenstein games, and obviously the Elder School, uh, the Elder Scrolls games, um, are basically just to name a few games that they are, um, you know, the ones behind. And when it comes to like consoles, since you know, personally speaking, I don't come from money, I have to choose carefully my selection of consoles um, that I. You know, I have to select for my for my gaming needs. Historically speaking, I've been uh, you know choosing PlayStation for some time, and that is for a couple of reasons. When I started my console journey, it was with playing games on my cousin's PS3. I think I kind of explained this in my previous videos as well. But naturally, you know, since he was older than me, he was the first one who bought a PlayStation 3 for himself. I played games with my cousin mostly. I got exposed to uh, a PS3 from there. And, and there's been a huge gap in my life before PS3. I mostly played games on a PC, like an old Pentium 2, Pentium 3, Pentium 4. God, I'm going back. I think kids today wouldn't even know what a Pentium computer is. So that might be a little funny to hear. But, uh, you know, before that, I think it was just a Sega that I had, uh, a 32 bit version. So, I mean, consoles for me, PS3 in the. And I'd say the later generations was was my first exposure. So we we chose a PS3, and there's a couple of reasons why you know, growing up in Pakistan, PS3 was uh, one of the obvious choices for us. Uh, two main reasons for it. One reason, and this was a very very big reason for someone growing up in Pakistan, was that if you didn't know on PlayStation on PlayStation 3 specifically Sony did not charge you money uh, to play games online meaning you did not need the $60 or the $70 PlayStation Plus subscription if you wanted to play games online uh, like Call of Duty or you know any game that you wanted to play which hasn't been the case since PS4 onwards now they're following the same um, ideology that Xbox has that they charge you for Xbox Gold. PlayStation's been doing the same for PS Plus. If you want to play games online, you have to have these subscriptions, which, in personally my opinion, I completely disagree with. I do not like the fact that if you have an internet provider and you have internet services, that you have to pay extra to be able to play games from, uh, you know, online with your friends on these consoles anyway I digress um, but PS3 you didn't have to with the Xbox 360 you had to uh, so that's why we chose a PS3 the second big reason and this is something I think unbeknownst to a lot of people here in North America 
but every single Xbox 360 that was sold in Pakistan brand new was actually jailbreak meaning you could get pirated games for the 360 for very very cheap price but you could not play those games online and that was a huge problem I mean there were there were rumors and stories I heard that oh if you bought a pirated uh, game from uh, for the Xbox like a pirated DVD and you went online and you played for a couple of hours your console could get bricked though yet again like I said I don't know how much of it was actually true but that's what I heard and like I said I was young my cousin bought a PS3 that's a console that he got so naturally I diverted towards buying that console myself when it came time for me to buy that console but you know apart from that I never did let that influence my decision too too much as to when I did get a chance I did buy a 360 uh, for a cheaper rate when I moved to Canada and you know I played the games that I wanted to play on it um, you know Halo 3 and 4 Gears of War uh, 1 2 3 and um, you know just I, I never let this whole console war thing get to a point where I I would deny myself playing games on one platform or the other so you know just to kind of give my thoughts and my backstory as to how I came into console gaming and you know which console I started with and what it went from there um, I do have to say unfortunately for the last generation for the for the PS4 and the Xbox one um, it does seem like Xbox's intentions were were very different uh, from the beginning I mean initially they were I think it was under Dawn metric they were entirely under the whole idea of Xbox as your entertainment console instead of just a gaming device I mean remember the whole the connect thing I mean Jesus Christ that that whole motion camera being included into the package and a part of your GPU would be um, you know reserved for for that for that camera I mean it was just it was a gimmicky thing I don't know if it worked well or not but you know at the time I remember when the PS4 and the and the Xbox uh, one was announced I was like I don't wanna I don't wanna have a camera because I I had no interest in buying games that use that uh, camera as a feature and uh, it just it didn't seem like the right way for me and even when Phil Spencer came on it seemed pretty clear that the direction that Phil wanted to take the company in was was different than what I guess PlayStation had in their in their long time plan right I mean focus on first party development big studios but I mean apart from Forza Halo and a couple of games from Gears there wasn't much uh, to be said and I think quite frankly we have to say that the last generation when it came to producing successful games I mean Sony pretty much had um, the whole generation in its back pocket and that's I think where the difference comes I, I Phil Spencer's a smart guy I mean the entire management team behind Microsoft and Xbox uh, they're good people they're smart people they know what the consumers want and I think that is the main decision and the main reason behind uh, their latest acquisition like a seven billion dollar investment into a company like Bethesda and I think it's great I think it's it's interesting it shows that Xbox will not let another generation go to PlayStation and that is perfect in my opinion in all honesty I want Xbox to succeed I want them to come out with great games even if on on their Xbox game pass service if it's you know if it's not entirely to say that they're developing uh, first party AAA studios and that's what they're working for I don't care what I am concerned about is having a good healthy competition in the market and that is what this acquisition of the Bethesda game studios brings to the table I mean PlayStation needs to be reminded that their current crown is temporary 
if they do not continue to focus on producing high quality games, Microsoft and Xbox can take it away, right? And same for Microsoft and Xbox. If they're starting from the bottom, the only way left for them to go is up. So given that chance, the Xbox Games, uh, Game Pass service seems pretty good. I'm interested in it. I, if I could get a chance, if I had a good enough PC, my current laptop's not that good. So if I could, I'd definitely buy it and, and experience it. I mean, I think it's a fantastic deal. And... Um, I'd love to play like the new Gears games or the uh, the Master Chiefs uh, the Master Chief Collection. Uh, you know that's a that's a fantastic package. I mean I think it's on Game Pass if it is. It's great. I'd love to play it. So you know keeping up with that, I think both companies can use good competition. I know Nintendo doesn't come up as a big player in this regard. So for me, I think this is really good. This is early in the new generation's time. Microsoft has a chance of, uh, you know, exploring um, and uh, seeing what Bethesda can provide for them, and um, I think this is a huge advantage for Xbox. And I'm really happy for all the people who own an Xbox. And I'm sincerely hoping that uh, I would be one of them as well. Now, if you would ask me, what is like in my opinion, if I had to buy one console which console would I buy like I said I don't come from money so I have to pick and choose my consoles a little bit more carefully I have to have a little bit more scrutiny involved into when I'm deciding what console I'm supposed to buy so if I had to buy one right now I would say it has to be a PlayStation and simply because of the established IPs that they have look I love God of War I love Ghost of Tsushima I love Spider-Man, I love Horizon. I do not want to give up my opportunity to play those games or the, the newer versions of those games, part twos of those games when they come out. So if I had to choose one console, it'll be PlayStation, but in all honesty, if I can buy both consoles, I would 100% buy Xbox. I mean, why deny myself games from both sides of the fence I mean it would be idiotic right <laughs> so for sure but um, anyways guys thank you for listening and tuning in subscribe like and share for more videos if you have any thoughts and opinions leave them down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video take care guys bye bye